think it's time. I really do. Um, we had the Olympics in '32, and uh, you know we had we had the Olympics um, 48 years later. Uh, 48 years from 1980 would be 2028. We aren't going to make 2028, but um, yes, um, you know I think that um, Lake Placid um, needs to um, get involved again and make a, a run for another game. So whether we're capable of doing it on our own um, or whether it would take a partner um, is, is the real question. And it's, you know, logical that with a partner uh, we could do that. You know, whether we'd have to have a smaller games in advance, youth games, goodwill type of games, something like that and prior to, uh, I think Lake Plass is going to be interested in that in the future. I think they'd love to do it. I think the children of those who did the last Olympics and uh, grandchildren of those from the 1932 Olympics, it's in their blood, you know, it's part of their history and their culture and their family and yes, I think everybody would be out there trying to see how we could participate. And you wouldn't have the full thing here. But when you see some of those Olympics, there's traveling a half an hour, an hour to venues and things like that. So. It could be done, and you know, hopefully, maybe it will be done someday. Could they hold it again? Uh, not by themselves, probably. They would have to combine with. There's been talk about Montreal. Uh, there's been talk about ho holding, combining with Albany, because all the all the Olympics since then, the venues are spread so far apart. Uh, they're driving an hour and a half, two hours, maybe even farther to get to some of the venues. So that would put Albany in striking distance. Uh, they could hold they could hold a lot of the uh, uh, ice events, the indoor ice events and hockey events, and uh, it would save building, uh, save Lake Placid building more arenas, and we could hold bobsled and luge and uh, all the skiing events, and it would save another area, the environmental impact of, of doing that.